Hello, I'm Adam and welcome to another slightly different video. Today we will look what's inside a fake Xiaomi power bank. Uh, because I have bought the power bank and I received a, a fake one. So uh, we'll see what's inside and I will tell uh, how to spot a fake one uh, power bank. And uh, what's uh, interesting? Uh, it's a Xiaomi Mi Bank 3 Pro. Uh, that means it's a pretty new power bank which should output, uh, which has a power delivery uh, feature, which allows us to charge uh, notebooks up to 45 watts. So uh, I'm surprised that I've got this fake one. Uh, so box looks like this and uh, as you may know, on the uh, Xiaomi products there are uh, seals that you can uh, check if your power bank is genuine or not. And in this case, as you can see, there is a seal and uh, I had to scratch to uncover those numbers. But uh, above those numbers there is a fake website to write this code to uh, check if this bank is genuine. So. Uh, even the website is fake uh, because uh, you have to check uh, your power bank or mobile phone on the me.com website not something like Xiao, Xiaomi <laughs> CN. Okay, so uh, let's unbox this and let's see what's inside. And there is a power bank which is uh, which weighs something around my 10,000 uh, milliampere hours. It's a little bit too light for 20,000 milliampere hours, but uh, yeah, and uh, there is a power bank and there is a cable, which is, hmm, it's pretty okay. I mean, it's, it's fine quality in touch. Okay, now uh, how to spot if our power bank is fake. First of all, uh, you can look uh, on those uh, on this panel and it might look pretty cheap and there, but that's not the <laughs> that's not most important. Uh, most important thing and best way is to check if this power bank can charge itself. So, if you connect out one, two, in or out two, and we can see the power bank is charging itself. In genuine Xiaomi power banks, it won't happen. So that's 100% that's, uh, fake. Another thing is that uh, you can look inside the USB port. I won't sh show you right now. I will show a picture because uh, inside the USB port there should be a Mi logo inside. And uh, this one doesn't have that. It's obvious fake, but let's see what's inside. Uh, and uh, I saw that this thing is, can be pretty easily removable. And maybe there will be some screws. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, there are some screws and Philips screws. Okay. What's next? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, it's terrible idea to use scalpel next to battery. <laughs> Okay. How to get it? Oh. oh, there we go. 
Hmm. What I can say? There is nothing inside. <laughs> yeah, this board looks uh, very, very cheap. And uh, wow, what is this? Those chips doesn't have any symbols or name on it. Or maybe camera will see that. Those things may be uh, TP4056 uh, modules that uh, can charge uh, this uh, battery. And each of them has uh, maximally one amp uh, current to charge. I have uh, tested it with multimeter and I must show you that. Uh, when I press the button it shows us uh, how much does it have power left and it blinks uh, for LEDs at the time that could mean it's fully charged but when I measured the battery terminals I've got 3.9 volt so, but when I connected the phone it showed 3.8 so even it can't show how many battery we've got left <laughs> Wow, that's a terrible thing. I'm afraid to use it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.